Hey guys, welcome back. And in this part, we're going to go ahead and start creating one of the um, fingers of Wally. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with a cube in our side view. So let's grab a cube and drag it out roughly the size of that. Drag some height out, and just going to go into my front view and position this up and I haven't done a very good job of dragging the height out but that's not a problem so I'm gonna aim for roughly these inner sides of the line okay so roughly around there and we also gonna need if we go back some more height to this about there and now we can go ahead and rotate this cube. So I'm gonna grab that cube. I think I'm even gonna isolate this for now. Oh actually we need the reference. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this and turn on X-ray. So I can see what I'm doing better. Probably to about there. Grab these vertices and drag them up. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this face. Go back into my side view. Get my edit mesh tab window. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this to about here. And then grab this vertex and drag it up. Okay, so we're just blocking this out. Now the next thing we're going to do is we are actually going to go ahead and do this in a face as well we're going to go ahead and extrude this out and if we go into our front view and turn on x-ray we'll see how far to drag this out to about here okay so it's looking pretty good now once we have that this inner finger bit is actually um, higher up than the other one so Gonna go ahead and extrude and drag this up to about roughly again. I'm just eyeballing this to about there, and then we're gonna have to go ahead and delete these faces um, because we don't need them. We'll need these, and now we can go ahead and connect this back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that edge, this edge, and that edge, and extrude and turn on offset to zero press W and just drag up and again we're going to use our merge vertex tool to um, join these up like so and this one will go to up here and that one will go up here okay so this is a basic shape now you're going to notice that we're going to need a loop going around here so we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to use our insert edge loop tool and add loop around here roughly and then just use our merge vertex tool again to join this up and join this up to there and I'm just going to go ahead and grab this vertice and snap it up here and rest them look about fine roughly okay alright so it's looking pretty good for a base mesh um, the next thing we're going to have to go ahead and do is we're going to have to obviously go ahead and add in the x-ray edge loops but before that I think we might go ahead and add some extra detail to this bit I think we're going to have to go ahead and select these two faces and we're just going to go ahead and extrude them out a little bit to about there just a tiny bit and then I'm gonna select these vertices and drag them up okay so it's looking pretty good so this is our base finger and now we're gonna have to go ahead and add in all the loops and stuff that we need before that actually we're going to go ahead and sort this bit out um, we're going to have to do is bevel this 
So just going to hit bevel and slow down my slider. And we're going to use an offset. Segment's probably about three. And I'm just going to drag this offset out. Probably about 0.3. Should do the trick. Yeah, that looks about fine. Might even use four segments. Yeah, might as well. And then we're going to go ahead and select this edge and select that edge. And we're going to go ahead and delete them. I think, yeah. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect these up. So use our interactive split tool and I'm just going to drag down here around here and we're going to line them up later so it doesn't really matter if these are not lining up perfectly so again select that one drag around here drag to the other side and snap it there and then we've got two more left Around here, around here, and around there. I think we got one more left to do. Yeah. Okay, so that's the last one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and isolate this so I can see better what I'm doing. And I'm going to select this loop and with the scale tool I'm just going to scale it so it straightens itself out. Same with this one. Might even go ahead and move this out just a bit. And same with this one. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. So now what we're going to have to do, once we make sure everything looks fine how we want it to, we're going to have to go ahead and add in um, the rest of the edge loops, which will be a bit of a challenge, but um, should be okay. Um, because this is a fairly complicated shape again, like you've got all these little extrusions and so on, you're going to have to use some more complicated techniques again to add loops that we need so what I'm going to do is we're going to select um, actually not all of them we're going to start with this one so I'm going to select in my side view I'm going to select all of these and then in my perspective mode I'm going to deselect these bottom faces Okay, so like that, make sure that both sides are selected and then we're going to hit extrude and we're going to use an offset of, of about 0.1 I think, 0.01 I meant to say and that's looking pretty good. Okay, so once we have that, we can go ahead and start adding in the loops that we need and obviously start to get rid of um, these triangles and so on. So we're going to use our interactive split tool again and I'm going to split from there to there and from there to there. Okay, and then I'm going to quickly go ahead and get rid of this edge and that edge and I can go ahead and select this vertex select that axis and snap it up here and same thing on the other side so I'm going to select that select that axis, snap it up there okay so now what we're going to do is do this side as well so again it doesn't matter where you're clicking as long as it's on the right edge because we're going to go ahead and adjust these like so so again selecting axis, selecting the words 
and that's looking pretty good okay so we've got basically our bottom loop but we're also going to have to do the same thing on this side so let's go ahead and do that again I'm going to use my interactors split tool or we can probably go ahead and do this with the insert edge loop but I think this way it will be easier so we're just going to go ahead and do it this way so not there if you make a mistake you can just use backspace and then it will delete your last um, your last selection or point so again I'm just grabbing this where grabbing that axis snapping it there do the same thing on the other side okay and now you can go ahead get rid of that edge and get rid of that edge and as you can tell we're also going to have to connect them up around there as well okay so so far we are looking pretty good um, we're going to have to go ahead and do this top corner as well so again I'm just going to use the interactive split tool Make sure that you guys um, are saving quite a lot when you're doing this because Maya sometimes crashes when you're using the interactive split tool and so on. So um, it is quite good if you save a lot. And so now we can go ahead and delete that edge. And we can go ahead and delete this edge if I find it. There we go. So now we are getting to a stage where the more complicated bits are kind of over, which is that bit, and then now we're going to have to go ahead and um, join these bits up. So what I think we're going to do for this top edge is actually use the insert edge loop tool, because I think it should go around quite far. So I'm going to add one there. And then here we can just use our snapping tool again. So we're going to select that, that actually snap it up here. And then we can just use our interactive split tool to make that cut. Okay. So again, I'll do it on this side as well. And select this vertex, snap it up. And I think we're going to go ahead and do it with these as well because they kind of moving move down too much so I might even just drag this up manually maybe a little bit more so it's closer to the edge and then now you can go ahead and use our interactive split tool to make that cut okay so basically the loop all the way around the top we have now so that that corner should smooth quite nicely and now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on this bottom bit. So first I'm just going to look around the mesh to see if our loop would go around and it should. So use our inside edge loop tool again to add that edge loop. And then with the vertex I'm going to snap this up. And then use my interactive split tool again. that in I'm gonna come around and this one looks roughly lined up so that's fine but it's not that lined up so I'm gonna just snap it up so straight okay so getting to a stage where it's looking pretty good um, like you said this is a bit complicated shape that's the reason why we got to do all these weird edge loops and so on so once we smooth it, it will hold its shape. Um, next thing we're going to do is hopefully this should be a lot easier now. Uh, we're just going to use our insert edge loop tool and we're going to add one around here. And we're also going to add one around here. So that corner will hold itself as well, quite nice and tight. Same with this, that will hold itself now. 
Okay, here. We're going to need an extra one here. And that goes all the way around. So that's pretty good news for us. I'm getting a bit lost with the camera of where we are. Um, if I just go into my side view, let me look at this bit. I think we're going to go ahead and line this up a bit more. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So the next couple of loops are going to go around this bit. So just use my insert edge loop tool and add one here. And also we're going to need one here and one here. And that's getting there. So we got that corner sorted now. The bottom corner is sorted as well. We're also going to need a loop going here. And some of these edge loops are a bit too far from the edge, but um, that's fine. We can always go ahead and adjust them later on. So now what I'm going to do is try to do this corner and our loop go all the way around, so it's fine. And also we're going to need one here. And let me just look in there. That looks fine apart from this loop. And I think pretty much we're nearly there. Well, we'll see once we go ahead and hit that smooth button. <laughs> That's always when you realize if we've done things right or wrong, but hopefully we've done this correctly well we should have okay so now this is just my um, check-in period really so I'm just looking around the mesh making sure that everything is fine you got all the loops that we need and it seems like that we've got a double loop here so I'm gonna go ahead and investigate why And I don't think we actually need this loop. Um, so I just deleted that and then now I'm looking around this loop again to see why I might have added that. But it seems like to me it was just a mistake. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit that smooth button and see what happens. Okay, so we are getting a pretty goddamn good result. Some of these edges are a bit soft, um, but we can always go ahead and adjust these loops. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to double click this loop and drag it up a bit closer. also I think we're gonna go ahead well actually it looks pretty good to me now I'm just looking at this bit for getting any issues around here but that looks fine just looking at this loop that we extruded it looks a bit tight around here and then it comes out but once we smooth it it looks fine so it don't get any artifacts and so on so it's not really a big deal so if you have a look and see how that corner smooths it looks pretty good okay so I think we actually have this pre piece created and it's looking quite good um, in the next part we're gonna go ahead and add some extra details and probably do the bottom part of the thing okay so thanks for watching guys I'll see you guys in the next part